Hey there, fellow 3D printing enthusiasts. Have you been debating on trying inland filament? Perhaps you've seen other creators use it, but you're wondering, is it really worth the hype? Well, today I'm here to be your guide to inland filament. The filament that's been making waves in the 3D printing community. Welcome back to 3Digiprints. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all things 3D printing. In this review, we'll dive deep into the world of inland filament, exploring its quality aspects. So let's unravel the mystery behind inland filament and find out if it's truly worth it. First up, let's talk about its impeccable quality and printing speed. So first, I would like to say this was printed on my Ender 3, a fairly slow printer in today's standards. And now this only took 45 minutes to print, and that's including all of these screws. And on top of that, the quality of this turned out amazing. You can even see the 0.25, 0 0.30, 0 0.35, and 0.2. And this is a really small print, and it holds up quality well with minimal stringing. There is none whatsoever on this print. Let's talk about the temperature. Now, I was a bit surprised to find out that it was stringing on all of the rest of the temperature towers, meaning that it was every single block of temperature that it had string except one, and that was lucky number 225 degrees Celsius. As you can see, there is no stringing below this bridge at all. And the reason I am surprised by that is because 230 to 225, there is a slight degree change of five degrees, and you can see here that there is a lot of blobs. And then going from 225 to 220, you then again see it return. And this is just surprising because there are only five steps difference. Now, Fahrenheit, that is a huge difference, but Celsius, the five steps is not that much of a difference. Optimal printing temperature for this filament is 225. The filament recommends 190 to 230 degrees Celsius. I would recommend printing a tower if you're going to be using this filament since it provides a 40 degree Celsius uh, variable. So you will want to check this with your printer. Topic number three, my aesthetics and overall look. This was the first thing I decided to print with this filament before dialing in any of the settings. And I just saw this void octopus and I thought, wow, this would look great in my, I believe it's called Lul's Green Inland Filament. And I am not disappointed, just look at this. If you saw this in the ocean, you would be terrified or amazed, maybe even both. But just look how beautiful this turned out. Except these are printer related issues, not filament. And you can just look at the amazing green quality. Now this brings up the next point. Is the price worth it? The price is $23, and this is PLA Pro. I would say for $23 to get an amazing print like this and the color, it is well worth it. I have been able to get amazing prints. The finish is always amazing, especially on my Neptune 4. I mean, you even get to do these cool tolerance tests with little to no stringing, and they all work. And the temperature tower, not to mention, it has an optimal temperature range. With those being stated, I think $23 is a fair asking price. With that being said, my final opinions. This would be my last review tip, my biased opinion. Now, would I go through buying this filament again? Personally, no, I would not. And that's due to the fact that I am starting to like dual color, tri-color filaments, and not these singular colored filaments. 
However, the this filament I've noticed has been great for my CAD designs that I have grown up because this filament is smooth. It has a very smooth finish, so I am able to print my prints that need a certain tolerance with this and not have to have a resin printer. So overall for me, I would give the price a great recommendation. The quality far exceeded my expectations. So my, my honest review is I wouldn't buy it again and that's because I'm looking for more filaments to test. If I was just a creator making cool things like this, I would most definitely buy this and I would keep on buying it. You can check them out on their website. They offer, I believe, free shipping. I saw that on a post, don't quote me on that. Don't want to get upset if it's not true, but that you can get online if you don't live near a micro center. I happen to travel to my micro center because it's not far away and I enjoyed the experience. So there you have it, 3D printing aficionados. We have explored the ins and outs of inland filament from its impeccable quality and printing speed to the optimal temperature settings for stellar prints. If you used inland filament before, or if you're planning to give it a try, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Let's connect and share our experiences as we continue to build a strong community of 3D printing enthusiasts. And if you found this review helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more 3D printing content. Remember, happy printing.